One of the most common complaints I have in my videos are that the floats needed for the profitable trade-ups I show are too hard to get. So today, I'm going to show you guys 5 profitable trade-ups with super easy to get floats and the easiest method to get them. I'm also going to show you exactly how to avoid losing money from bad floats, so stick around for some really helpful tips. By the way, I'm giving away this Bowie knife freehand when we hit 30,000 subscribers. If you'd like to enter for a chance to win that, check out the community post. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Also, make sure to stick around and watch the whole video to find out what this week's giveaway is and the instructions to enter. Now, let's make some money. The first trade-up of this video consists of 10 normal field-tested mil-spec skins from the recoil case below a .2142 average float. For most of the trade-ups in this video, since the floats needed are going to be higher than normal, they're usually less desired. That means you should have a lot easier time getting these floats on the Steam market than usual. The absolute easiest way to get skins for trade-ups is by setting buy orders. Once you're on the Steam website, simply hover over Community and click Market. From Market, select Counter Strike 2, show advanced options, select the collection you want, in this case it's recoil, select the exterior, category, and quality you want, and hit search. From here, open up a tab for every single possible input, and once you have those open, access them one by one. As you can see, the market price for these skins right now is 8 cents, but we don't want to get them for that much. In order to figure out how cheap you can get them for in buy orders, simply click view more details. Usually, the most expensive number at the top is how much you're going to be able to get them for. In the case of this polymag, there are currently 14,700 buy orders set at that price. So even if you set a buy order there, it'll still take a while to come through. But even though that number's marginally less for the Meow36, we're still going to set buy orders for all of these inputs. There's no guarantee for how many buy orders will go through for any of these skins. So there's no harm in setting buy orders for all of them. So for each of these seven input skins, you're simply going to click place buy order, set the price down to 7 cents and change the number you want to anything you want. But let me tell you a couple things before you decide what to do for that number. The best way to think about a buy order is setting it is like reserving your place in a line. So for example, if I set the number I wanted from this buy order to 1, since there are 1,911 buy orders before me, I would be the 1,912th in line. And the same is true if I were to set this number to 100, but the difference is I would get all 100 of the next buy orders after 1,912. The good thing about doing that is it's way faster, but the bad thing is if there are other people doing this exact trade up and offloading their bad skins too, there's a high chance that you could get a bunch of bad float skins in a row. The best way to counteract this is to just set your buy orders in groups of 10. So for now, just set 7 cent buy orders for 10 items on all 7 of these input skins. But if you want to make sure you'll get more than 70 items, just come back in a few hours and set another buy order for 10 items. This way it'll be at a different place in the line. And once you have the 10 usable skins, you can start trading up. This trade-up costs 70 cents total and has a 102.86% profitability after Steam fees with a 60% chance to profit each time. The P90, SG, and M249 all sit around 20 cents of profit. Let's do a couple of these. All right, boys, 60% chance to profit here. What's it gonna be? Show me the P90. Three, two, one, boom. Hey, that's profit. We're taking that. Let's go. And we got one more of these. Second one, locked and loaded. Can we see profit back to back? Show me the money. Ah! Not good. Not good at all. 22 cent loss. That's all right though, because I have some more banger trade-ups to show y'all in the rest of this video. Today's sponsor, GamerPay, wants to sponsor you with a free five euros on your first 50 euro deposit. GamerPay is an extremely trustworthy peer-to-peer -peer skin trading website where you can find some of the cheapest CS2 skins on the market. Take a look at this MAC-10 fade, for example. Currently, the cheapest one is on GamerPay. GamerPay has no buying fee and only a small 3% selling fee, and you can even sell your skins on a trade lock. What are you waiting for? Click the link in the description to claim your free five euros today. Now then, you might be asking yourself, what exactly do I do with the bad floats I get? Since I can't use them in trade-ups, won't I be losing money overall? I'll show you one way around that right now. The second trade-up of this video consists of 10 normal field-tested mil-spec skins from the kilowatt case below a .2238 average float. As of right now, the buy order price for these input skins is 12 cents, and the market price is 13 cents. From my experience, somewhere between 40 and 60% of the skins I receive from buy orders have usable floats. In order to lose the least money possible on the bad floats you get, list the items back on the Steam market for market price, which in this case is 13 cents. After Steam tax, that will leave you with 11 cents per skin when you originally paid 12, meaning you only lose 1 cent per bad float item. If we assume that 50% of the skins we receive have good floats, this means we'll lose 1 cent on 10 skins per full working trade-up. So if we do 0.01 times 10, that means we spend 10 extra cents per trade-up. So if we take a look at the trade-ups by page and evenly disperse that 10 cents between half of the items, this trade-up now has a 103.08% profitability 
with a 40% chance to profit each time, which is still profitable. Unfortunately, this isn't going to be the case for every trade up, so you should always do your own testing and double checking on a calculator to make sure you won't lose money. The two profitable outcomes we're hoping for here are the block 18 and the analog input. Let's see what we get. All right, boys, this one's a bit riskier. We only have a 40% chance here. What's it gonna be? Show me that block 18 for the most profit. Come on, three, two, one, block 18. Ah, oh, I low-key got baited by the pistol. That is the worst outcome. It's all right though. Maybe we can profit right now. If we see that block 18 right here, it'll make up for all the loss thus far in the video. Show me the block 18. Let's go, dude. Come on. Big hit. Cannot complain. We are definitely in the positive now. Now then, something that's very important to note is that the buy order and market prices will not always be the same for each of the possible input skins. Let me show you an example. The third trade up of the video consists of 10 Stat Trek field tested restricted skins from the fracture case below a 0.2 average float. There are five possible input skins from this collection, and as of right now, the one with the cheapest buy order price is the Kit Bash. The current buy order price for the skin is 69 cents. The market price for it right now is 71 cents, and when you sell the bad floats on Steam, that only leaves you with 62 cents, meaning you lose 7 cents per bad float. That means, under the assumption that 50% of our buy order floats are viable, this trade up will cost you $7.60 on average and have a 117.37% profitability after Steam fees, with a 100% chance to profit each time. This one is an all around banger with every output being profitable, but the Vogue is the best at nearly $3 of profit. Alright, boys, this one is an unlosable battle. Profit on anything, but we'd love to see the Vogue. Show us the Vogue for over $3. Come on. Three, two, one. Vogue. Not good. Worst outcome, but like I said before, unlosable battle. We're still profiting with that, so it's really not that bad. And we have one more attempt. Second and final attempt for these. Show me the Glock Vogue right now. Let's go, dude. Most profit. Let's go. I love this trade up so much. I've hit the Vogue so many times on all my attempts on this. So good, man. Just cannot complain whatsoever. Free money, basically. This next trade up is similar to the last one, but now we have two collections to deal with. Firstly, it consists of five Stat Trek Minimal Wear Millspec skins from the Snakebite case, and you want the average float of these five skins to be below 0.1. Of the seven Stat Trek Snakebite Millspec skins, the one with the cheapest current buy order is the Circadus at 76 cents. Its market value is 81 cents, which only leaves you with 71 cents after Steam tax. This means you're losing 5 cents per bad float. For the other five skins in the trade up, we need Stat Trek Factory New Millspecs from the CS20 case, and we want to keep those below a 0.04 average float. The one with the cheapest buy order of these is the Scar. 20 assault at 78 cents. Its current market value is 80 cents, which only leaves you with 70 cents after steam fees, meaning you lose 8 cents per bad float item. If we look at an updated version of this trade up under the 50% assumption, it now costs $8.41 total and still has a 105.59% profitability after steam fees, with a 30% chance to profit each time. The best outcome here is the AK 47 slate for over $30 of profit. All right, this is where things get a little bit risky again. We only have a 30% chance to profit on this one, and I don't think in all my times of attempting this trade up I've ever hit the AK slate, but it's over $30 of profit, so that would be so fire if we could hit it right now. We have three profit options, the slate, the trigger discipline, and the MP5 agent. Can we see one of those, please? Three, two, one, slate. Ah. Uh. It's all right, man. It's kind of a big loss, but it is what it is. I mean, you have to expect that you're going to take some losses around a $5 loss. But you know what? Let's make it up right here with a slate. Do I even need to say anything? All we want to see is that slate. Show me the slate. Let's go, dude. I did not expect that. Let's go. That's huge profit. I've never hit that on any of my attempts. I think I've tried this trade up like 20 plus times at least in my career. Wow. First slate ever on these. I always managed to hit the trigger discipline, but let's go. That feels so good. Come on. Over $30 of profit. Big hit right there. All right, boys. This week, I'm giving away a field tested AK-47 red line. To enter, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment letting me know what your favorite kind of Witterly video is. Also, just make sure to have your Steam trade link in your YouTube bio so I can send you the skin when you win. But make sure you don't skip a step or else you won't be entered. The final trade up from this video, and easily my favorite, consists of 10 Stat Trek Minimal Wear Restricted Skins from the Kilowatt case below a 0.1 average flow. As of right now, the Stat Trek Minimal Wear 5.7 Hybrid has the cheapest buy order price at $4.55. Its current market value is $4.82. So, when you sell a bad float at that price, you'll only be left with $4.19 after Steam tax. This means you're losing 30 six cents per bad float. Now, if we take a 
look at the updated numbers, this trade-up has a 123.5% profitability after steam fees with a 66.67% chance to profit each time. This just goes to show you how possible profitable trade-ups really are. Both the Black Lotus and the Olympus are very profitable outcomes here with the Black Lotus making us over $30. And we hit another over $30 profit item in this video. Show me the Black Lotus. Such a beautiful skin. Let me see it. Three, two, one, boom. Let's go, dude! Oh my, that's insane! Big profit on the episode, banger video so far. Can we hit the final trade-up as another Black Lotus for back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back over $30 profit items? Final trade-up, another Black Lotus would be insane. As long as I don't see that USPS jawbreaker, I'm happy. Show me a Black Lotus in three, two, one, boom! Let's go, dude! Come on! What? That's over... I think we're over $100 of profit on the video. That is insane. Back to back to back. $30 plus profit items. That's crazy. Let's go. What an absolutely lucky day. After all was said and done, once we sell these nine skins, we will have profited $97.98 total. So close to that $100 mark. But we cannot complain. Obviously, it goes without saying that there will not always be exactly 50% usable skins from buy orders. It'll be different every time. Just do your absolute best to use trade ups by or some other trade up calculator to make sure your trade up efforts are worth it. As always, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you'll like this one too. Oh yeah, and YouTube told me 75% of you aren't subscribed yet. So go thumb wrestle that subscribe button down below.